Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So I'm not here to spill much tea, honey. However, Melody Hope from Love and Marriage is Huntsville is now before we get into her video of her telling fans to stop asking her these type of questions i do want to address some of the scenes from saturday night's episode now we did officially meet the new couple tiffany and lou and a lot of fans are not liking the new girl tiffany honey now carlos king tweeted this tweet and said we interviewed close to 10 couples for love and marriage huntsville this season and tiffany and lewis won everyone over the fact that everyone is still talking about tiffany Tiffany's appearance only after one episode confirms we made the right choice. Hashtag king of casting, which fits him perfect, honey. Now, at the end of the day, you know, I live for the drama. I live for the back and forth pettiness, but I don't like the comments Tiffany made about Kimmy's stepson, Monster, on the show. And you know, to be messy towards Destiny right after announcing her divorce to the group, honey, had me side eyeing her. And it's another reason why maybe Tiffany may be hot on the block and may not be a fan favorite at this moment on the show. I also want to briefly get into Martell's mom, Mama Hope, and her actions from Saturday night's episode. So some fans feel like Mama Hope is not holding her son Martell accountable for his actions in his marriage to Melody. And I completely disagree with that, okay? I feel like based off of this one episode, we don't see her hold him accountable. So if this was your first time tuning in, you would think that she's not holding Martell accountable. But in previous episodes, on previous season, she has, she has held Martell accountable. Now, Melody did have her input in the whole situation. And this is what she said, y'all. She said, so, mmm. When have y'all ever heard me or my mother say anything negative about my ex-mother-in-law? Appalled to say the least at what I just witnessed. Now, before I go into what she said next, that whole ex-mother-in-law statement is very strong, honey. Maybe she was mad when she was typing that response up, but I feel like it was very strong on what she said, and to me, it came off in a negative way. Melody also said having a blended family for over 14 years and literally taking trips together, being there for each other, spending holidays together, and you think that you don't have the right to hold those you love accountable shaking my head maybe accountability should have been taught a long time ago instead of hyping up the bull oh he ain't arrogant he just confident because he got it like that hashtag accountability she also continues on by saying don't have a life lol give me a break Hmm, selling property left and right, writing books, supporting her daughter, doing interviews, speaking engagements, plus so much more. Stop the bull. Everybody's definition of living ain't the same. So honey, that's what Melody had to say about the whole situation between Mama Holt and Martell and the conversation that they had on the show from Saturday night's episode. Now, Melody did have a concert she was a part of in Huntsville over the weekend. And here's a small clip of it. But it seems like Melody agrees with her fans. And, you know, she is saying that Mama Holt is not holding Martell accountable. And I can see Melody's point. But I also feel Melody doesn't want Mama Holt to let off of Martell's neck. And she wants her ex-mother-in-law to always hold Martell accountable for his actions. But as a mom, she has to show him love and support, too. That's just how I feel at the end of the day, and that's her son. So I'm about to show you guys a video of Melody and the questions, honey, she wants fans to stop asking her, plus answer why she has no regrets after being married to Martell. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section of this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. What are three questions that you do not want to hear again? Because when I solicited, I have to ask you, I solicited questions from your fans, oh, wow. told them to tell us questions. Okay. So tell us three questions where you're like, y'all don't ask me this no more. Okay. Please stop asking me if me and Martell can ever get remarried. Um, this I, Literally today I had someone in my DM and she said, um, fight for your man, um, embrace the baby, fight for your man, and um, I said, y'all killing me. That was my response to her. Y'all. Like, it is, 
oh, it's hard for me to comprehend um, how much we encourage other women to stay in things that are healthy. Dysfunctional, yes. Toxic. I don't get it. So mm -hmm. that right there, y'all can leave me. Please don't even ask me that. Um, <laughs> another question, do you wish you, uh, do you think the TV show had anything to do with the downfall of your marriage? No. Um, the fact of the matter is, you know, it was exposed who the person was before television. I just mm -hmm. thought that, you know, we had turned a new leaf and it continued on. So TV didn't do it. It had already happened before that. You know? Yeah. So that's another question. And then um, the other question is, are you dating? Like, I get that all the time. Like, if I am, y'all think I'm going to tell y'all right now? <laughs> I just went through a public marriage, a public betrayal, a public divorce. Can I have something private if I want to for a minute? Leave me alone. So those... <laughs> <laughs> well, those it's so funny that you say that because I definitely got all of those submissions and that's why I wanted you to tell them. <laughs> Most of the times I got all of those submissions, but I do want to say that Melody did not wow. answer question number three. So we can just give her the looky-loo eyes because we don't know what's going on over there, but we just want you to be happy yeah. and healthy and enjoying your life because you so, so, so deserve it. Thank you so much. That's so funny that you got those questions and we haven't even talked, you know, mm -hmm. days live. So, so you know, I'm telling the truth that that's I, know. I DM all the time. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm like, I know, I know what you're getting. Cause I saw, I saw what people were sending to me. I was like, I'm not asking her that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but what advice would you tell Melody five years ago? If you could go back in time, the woman you are today, tell Melody five years ago, the woman that she was. Yeah. That she would listen to, though. Because you know, sometimes you know what you would have listened to then and and now. Yeah, absolutely. So five years ago, I would have been 30. Um, that's another thing. I'm the youngest cast member on the show. So um, I would have been 35 years ago. And I think probably I would have, believe it or not, I wouldn't have told myself five years ago to walk away and leave my marriage at that time. I think that giving as many opportunities that I gave, the time that I gave is what has allowed me to have no regrets and never second, you know, have no second thought whatsoever about what if I had a maybe I should have, um, do I want to go back? I think that I gave it enough chances and time so now I feel very content um, with my decision. So, I know it, it may would seem that I would say I should have left five years when I was, that's what I would have told myself. Um, I think that I would have told myself at 30. Um, that's a good question. I mean, I don't know. It's tough because I feel like so many things that happen, happen the way they're supposed to happen, when they're supposed to and how they're supposed to. Um, so I have no regret. I have no maybe not work quite as hard because I am mm -hmm. a, that's so, a good one. Huh? That's a good one. Yeah, maybe not work as much, you know. But I don't know if that would have made me happy. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if that would have made me feel happy. Um not going after the things that I wanted to achieve. Um, but you know, it's good to try to have a little bit of balance when it comes to work and play. So for sure. And I have to ask for women who want to be entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, like you are and have the type of business that you have, what could you say to someone before going into a business with a spouse? What advice? Cause these are, I'm going to go into our fan submitted questions. Like this is something that someone submitted. Like I, I'm in a marriage right now where I'm about to get married and we want to start a business together. What's your tip and advice to that woman? So I have a quote that I've said and shared very um, frequently, which is um, there's nothing greater than doing what you love with whom you love. Mm -hmm. Despite what happened with my marriage, I still believe in and love a great husband, wife team uh, when it comes to killing it professionally and personally. Um, I think that's beautiful. You know, the only piece of advice that I would give is um, if you are working together, understand too that 
you've got to make sure that you have times when you only are just playing together. Because see what happens business conversations come home and happen at the table also and so sometimes it's almost like they're you're so intermingled and intertwined with one another when it comes to business that you know the personal piece of it isn't necessarily getting the attention that it needs because you could be I know for us there were times when we were on or I thought we were um, grind mode. It was like, shoot, we're going to get to it right now. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking, okay, I can deal with you maybe not being as romantic as I would like for you to be or, you know, spending as much quality time as you would, as I would like for you to be because we're on a grind mode. So I can mm-hmm. set or two to grind it out and, you know, do what we got to do. And so, um, you know, I just think there has to be clear communication as well if you're working with your spouse because you don't want issues you know from business or not giving each other enough time to spill over yeah somebody in the chat said number one advice keep a separate checking account all right (laughs) y'all and do that so for the longest we had just a joint account we didn't have a separate checking account we didn't get a checking account probably until like maybe uh maybe three four years ago maybe we had a joint account all that time Mm -hmm. well and it worked for you and it worked it worked for you yeah right it worked for us i say do what works best for you don't worry about what anyone else says um because everybody's different okay my last two questions marriage love and marriage huntsville who is on your good side right now on the show okay All except one. Okay. Okay. Look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I when I I get along just fine with everyone except one. <laughs> except one. What do you think that it is with you and this one that just just can't just can't make it just can't quite get it right. Absolutely. So, well, for me, um, I think that I'm in a place where I've experienced a lot of growth and I have, um, I still have some healing that has to happen, but for the most part, I've had a lot of healing to happen. Um, On the other hand, the, you know, my ex-husband is in a place where everything's just now starting to hit him and he's starting to feel everything. And so, you know, that makes him angry, upset, bitter. Um, say things that he probably was well, not properly that he shouldn't say um, and become a person that I'm not willing to um, entertain or even really communicate with. I'm sorry and so, so because of that um, that's why because we're, we're in two different places in life now mm-hmm. he's over here you know trying to rebuild and dealing with oh Mel has moved on like it's really over that's still just hitting him and then I'm over here feeling great happy out of a toxic environment at peace and calm and we just we have two different two different spaces yeah two different now you you really you told me because I think myself and the audience we thought the one was somebody completely different so we were like oh she's talking about Martell (laughs) well y'all thought I was talking about I thought you were talking about Tisha. Tisha. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I watched the show. Okay. Um, you guys saw the end of last season. Um, you guys saw a moment at the end where the ladies, we came together. There was a, there were apologies given. Um, there were some great conversations and a moment for us to be supportive of one another. So what I will say is, you know, make sure you tune in this season. I think everyone is trying to, um, I think everyone is trying to grow up. Yes, absolutely. So Love and Marriage Huntsville has so much more coming and, for you guys. Let me tell you, can I just say this? And I'm sorry, but I'm finna, let me go on and be 100 about this. Listen, after last season, I was like, okay, now nah, because I'm gonna be real trying. Okay, so after last season, I was like, now look, you know, every show has moments when they have their ups and downs. Mm-hmm. I was like, next season, probably going to be a little, you know, I don't know how we're going to top that.